Hi everyone, this is Pretty Grumpy Bear. Today we'll be discussing you. Well, actually me. Well, actually the character we played as in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the Night Shift Guard. We're not talking about who he is or what he's doing here, but we're going to talk about why was he hunted by the spring trap. We were provided with little to no information about the guard's identity. I think if this guy really matters in the mystery, Scott would have at least leave us some hints about him, but we don't have any, so let's assume who he is doesn't matter in this story. Springtrap didn't know this guy before, it held no personal grudge against him, he's just an insignificant guard. Based on this, we can deduce that the guard being attacked by Springtrap must be because of something he had done during his shift. What did he do? We must know the answer because we were controlling him. We know everything happened in that place at night. We just need to know where to look. We need to know what Springtrap was doing at night. Since we hypothesize the guard's not important, then Springtrap was probably not out there to kill him. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we learn that animatronics get confused when they're in a quiet place. They want to find where the people are so they search through the diner. However, I don't believe this is the case about Springtrap. Animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 were really wandering around. They visit a room, then go to another. After a while, they may go back to the previous room. Springtrap is not like that. Without our intervention, there's almost no way he's going back to where he started. For example, if he went through a pipe, there's no action you can take to make him go back through that pipe again. He'll keep pushing, getting closer and closer to the other end of the horror attraction. There must be something he seeks in this part of the place. Since we think the god's not important, then maybe his objective is not the god's office. What else is important in this part of the place though? Only one thing. Here, the exit. Springtrap was trying to escape. There were theories since Five Nights at Freddy's 1 that the god is not hired to guard the place. Rather, the management hired him because they wanted to keep the animatronics busy. When they have a person to play with, they wouldn't go outside and start terrorizing the streets. The animatronics want to get out. So is Springtrap. Therefore, if left unchecked, you will be able to see him in front of the exit pretty quickly. But it didn't left the place. Why? Because the door was locked. Naturally, the place was closed. It needed to find the keys to open the door. And who has the key? You do. You're the guard. You held the keys. And that's why Springtrap attacked you. Nothing personal. It just wanted your key. It just wanted to leave. You're dead not because of what you did. It was simply a matter of being at the wrong place in the wrong time. You stood between Springtrap and his freedom. It thought you held him there. So it killed you. This is my theory on Springtrap's motive. What are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment below and tell me. Or tweet me. My Twitter handle is at PGBGame. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.